The way some house builders sold people starter homes with rapidly rising ground rents has been described by MPs as a rip-off and a scandal. Tens of thousands of people are stuck with bad deals in leasehold homes they now can't sell because their ground rents are so high. It's complicated by the fact that the developers sold on the freeholds to investment firms who will make millions from these rising ground rent payments in the long run. After a lot of bad publicity, the investment firms are now offering to link future ground rent rises to inflation. But the homeowners want more than that. They want the government to put things right by making sure that the freeholds are sold back to them at a fair price. But this week the Housing Minister, Heather Wheeler, told a committee of MPs that she'd prefer to leave things as they are. In the short run, uh, we're getting very, very good pickup from uh, freeholders who are volunteering to make those changes. And um, it's really interesting, there was one particular freeholder we talked to who had sent out letters to their leaseholders and they were surprised they'd had 3% of their leaseholders had come back to them on it. Only 3%. So um, I think, again, this uh, inquiry has been incredibly helpful in getting this information out there. Um, certainly, can I say to any leaseholder that's had a letter from their freeholder volunteering to um, offer to make changes to their uh, leasehold and their um, particular ground rents or, or some of their permission fees, please contact them again mm -hmm. and, and take up, um, open the dialogue. Well, what the Minister Heather Wheeler had to say has caused a lot of disappointment among the leaseholders. Lisa Chapel bought her house in Liverpool from Taylor Wimpy. Her ground rent has doubled and is now £500 a year. We've even struggled to get a remortgage now on our property as well. So we, we can't sell the property um, at the minute. The house is devalued so much, but there's no interest in the houses either because as soon as people are hearing that it's leasehold attached with a doubling ground, which mine is, no one will touch it. So we're now stuck in homes that in the long term we can't financially afford to live in and we can't sell them. Lisa Chapel. Well, Sebastian O'Kelly is from the Leasehold Knowledge Partnership. It's campaigning for a fair deal for leaseholders. Sebastian, what complicates this picture is that many of the developers have sold the leases on to other companies. Now, the New Deal is meant to be that you will be offered something fairer. And the minister seems to be puzzled that so few people have taken up that offer. Why haven't they taken it up? Well, it's by no means the case that every freeholder has offered uh, to rectify these disgraceful ground rent terms which were foisted on mainly first-time buyers by PLC developers. Most of these freehold speculators are hiding behind nominee directors and based offshore. Many of them aren't making offers. I thought it was a very ill-informed contribution by the Housing Minister. The people who have these leases, like Lisa Chapel that we heard from, what does she want the government to do? Because the other thing that the housing minister said was that legislation that forced compensation on the developers would just be too, too expensive. Well, the government has a tremendous hold over the developers. £8.3 billion has been given to them through the help to buy schemes. The taxpayers subsidise mainly for first time buyers to get on the housing ladder. It has huge possibility to use that pressure point to get the developers who created these toxic leases to address them and instead they're the I mean one of the PLC developers is running a, a, a scheme they're a bit haphazard elsewhere with the developers um, and no pressure seems to be coming from the top to make them sort this matter out. Would it be fair to say that the people with these homes don't want to sign up to these new deals because they're hoping there'll be something better along the line? No, I think that's uh, not quite fair. I mean, changing doubling ground rents to ground rents that are linked to RPI is not a great improvement. You're still talking about an investment asset in a sort of house in Bolton that will pay up about four million quid in the whole 250 years years of its of its existence for the for the investors so it's it, we're talking about quite big returns even if it is adjusted to rpi and if the ground rent has already doubled and then is linked to rpi then it's not a particularly good deal at all can you give me an idea then of the scale of this yes what it's proportion of people who have these awful deals have been offered something in their place well i think most of Obviously, the Taylor Wimpy is the is the famous one. Countryside Properties PLC has also introduced some sort of scheme. Of the others, I'm not so sure. I don't know what Persimmon is doing or what Red Row is doing, um, but it might be that they've sold the um, freeholds on and it's now a problem for the freeholders, who, of course, are usually anonymous. This whole thing has been 
rolling on now for, I think, more than two years. Correct. How has it affected the way homes are sold now and the way the freeholds have been sold on by developers? It's whilst we haven't had much action from the government, uh, the consumers are going into sales suites up and down the country and saying, is this house leasehold? And if it is, they're walking away. So to a large degree, the leasehold housing issue has been resolved by consumer pressure. The games are still being played, however, with high multiple ground rents linked to RPI. Doubling ground rents seem to have fallen by the wayside as one try on too many. So you think that the highly rising ground rents linked to RPI, that's with flats, is it now? It's mainly with flats, yes, because leasehold, the, leasehold, the market for leasehold houses has largely collapsed thanks to this scandal. Sebastian O'Kelly from the Leasehold Knowledge Partnership speaking to me earlier on this morning.